it's often the lesser known pockets of land which hold the most beauty. Streams tucked away behind roads. A tiny pond nestled between fields of crop. Barely trodden woodland off the beaten track. In the leftover nooks between buildings, agriculture and roads, there's often much more thriving than you might think. Buckover, an area north of Bristol, next to the historic market town of Thornbury. A seemingly typical stretch of pleasant British countryside. But Buckover holds some secrets. A bluebell-coated paradise. Every April, the forest floor erupts into a sea of blue. The bluebells here indicate that this is ancient woodland. A precious habitat now covering just 2.5% of the UK. This isolated patch is a local refuge for some rather shy inhabitants. A female roe deer. And also a young buck. In fact, a whole family live here in these woods and the surrounding fields of Buckover. These native deer are completely wild and not used to humans. Even the slightest sound and... The family of Rodia are not the only ones who pass by this area. Fallow deer. This species was introduced to the UK a long time ago and now have become a widespread resident. Roads without crossings make moving around difficult for these deer and many animals have lost their lives this way. Luckily, just the one main road exists here for now, and the large swathes of arable cropland are much safer for the deer when moving in between islands of woodland. However, any further urbanisation will push both these deer families out of their natural home, putting them at great risk.
Another of Buckover's secrets lies beneath the ground. Much of the farmland here is officially classified as best and most versatile land. This rare land type is of the highest quality for growing a variety of crops. Much of the surrounding hedgerows, and even the fields themselves, offer shelter to small birds and animals. One of the most charismatic of these is the skylark, a ground nesting bird with a distinctive song. It hides in the crops and occasionally ascends high up above the ground. Many of the hedges lie directly above ditches. As well as draining the fields to maintain the soil quality, these ditches provide a refuge for small animals, mammals, invertebrates, and even fish. Many of these channels lead to one pond in particular. The bulrushes here provide cover for wetland birds, and their underwater roots are perfect for protecting young fish. Most notably though, ecological surveys have recorded great crested newts living at this location. Great crested newts are highly protected here in the UK, so to see them here is really special. They will be feeding at night on the large number of invertebrates skating around on the water surface. This mixture of land type is also suitable for a large avian biodiversity. From the soaring buzzard and the busy woodpecker to the smallest sparrows, blue tits and robins. until we stop encouraging urbanisation. These pockets of land will always be under threat. Be them wild, or productive, or a delicate balance of the two, just like Buckover. <laughs>